So this is actually the new road. It's only 2,000 years old. It looks like new. The stones have been worn smooth by the souls of Jewish pilgrims going back more than 2,000 years. What is fascinating is it's smooth. Why is it smooth? It's smooth because millions and millions, tens of millions of people have been walking on this road over the course of 100 years, 2,000 years ago, and the soles of their sandals were it smooth. From here, next to the Shiloh pool, they were traveling from this location all the way up to the temple. Men, women, and children, families from all the tribes of Israel were taking this route, including Gentiles that were on their way also north. We know that from signs found in the temple. They went up in a state of purity to the sounds of the flute, with fruit in their hand, with offerings, and there they prayed. This road was discovered around 2006. Though by finding stones, you can't be sure where they go, even though the stones at the end match the stones at the beginning. But from 2013, when the major dig began, it became clear that these stones carry one all the way up to the northern section next to the Western Wall. And one day, tourists will be able to take that entire walk. I think what this site does is it represents that this is the very heart of the Jewish people. We open to the entire world the idea of monotheism, where people, Jews and non-Jews, were able to walk up this road and pray together, pray to God, one God, everybody was created in the image of God. Once you establish that this is the heart of the Jewish people, however anybody wants to talk about negotiating Jerusalem, there's one thing for sure. You can amputate a hand, you can amputate a foot, you can never amputate the heart. This is the heart of the Jewish people. There can be negotiations. This area is not negotiable.